Aislinn, and uh, I've been dancing at Colorado School of Dance for three years now. Besides dance, um, I like to crochet and read and draw, just like crafts and stuff. I mostly go to the Children's Hospital to get blood work done. So we started out when she was six months old. She um, couldn't keep down any solid food, so we found out we had to do a lot of testing. We ended up going to Children's Hospital, um, just trying to figure out why solid foods would not stay in her system. So she had to do all kinds of testing, um, which was quite scary with your little six-month-old. Um, and we found out she had gastroparesis. And so the only, really the only thing they could do is put her on an experimental medication, um, which again, we had to do then EKGs every, about every three months, we had to go down then to Children's Hospital to check her heart, to make sure the medication wasn't messing with her heart. Um, and then do blood work every three to four months. Same thing, just to make sure everything was working well in her system with this experimental medication. So that kind of started our journey with Children's Hospital. Well, it's had a big impact on my life, but besides just not feeling great when I'm low or my blood sugar is high, um, it's just part of me, and I don't even really think about it. And my friends, they don't really think about it either. It's just something that I have, and it's just every day. Those first six months were really hard to try to give your little one those shots. And luckily, as she got bigger, we were able to get a Dexcom, which is a little system that a device that is attached to her cell phone that then attaches to my cell phone so we're able to look at her um, blood glucose numbers so now we can follow her so it's a little less scary we're able to at least see her numbers at all times so it's i'm not getting up as much at night um, at that time though we would get up I'd set my alarm for every two to three hours all night long to make sure that her blood was staying where it needed to stay. It was like having a newborn all over again for years until she was about five years old. From two to five, we would get up every two to three hours, check her blood. And again, her poor little fingers would just be swollen and sore from where we would have to prick her little fingers every time. I like to appreciate my mom very much because She's the one who helps me through all of this, and also my dad, because um, he he helps me and makes sure that I won't get sick or anything. And I have one brother, and his name is Beckett. He's seven years old. We like um, to make forts. Um, we. <laughs> <laughs> we like to run around the house. Um, we like doing crafts together, and we like playing video games together. My brother, he's just always there for me. He'll be like, or like your blood sugar's high, or your blood sugar's low, and are you okay? And it makes me feel really good that he understands a little bit about like, hey, I have something different. Children's Hospital has just always been amazing. They would always sit down with us until we had every question answered. Um, if one thing didn't answer, then they would do another test that would answer the next thing. So even currently, we go down and do, um, do testing and do x-rays and blood work. And to have the people at Children's not give up when one thing doesn't work, we can it's a whole network of people that we go to the, the gastro people and then when they don't, they send us to the x-ray and then those x-ray people can send us to the endocrinologist and when those can't, they send us to get blood. Like it's all a good network that they all know each other and can help answer and they will send us to the next guy. So it's always great to know that they don't give up. If one thing doesn't work, they they can help you and send you somewhere else so they don't give up on your baby. All the nurses are very sweet and welcoming and they are very nice and like and it makes me feel really good. So it's not something like to be scared of going to the hospital. Any support you can give children's hospital is amazing that there are so many children not just 
I mean, we are one of the lucky ones that has a kiddo that can come home and I mean, even though we deal with so much, it's nothing like what some other kiddos have and any support that you can give to help other kiddos, no matter what's going on in their life, whether it be diabetes or celiac or whatever they have going on, any kind of support is wonderful. Any that they appreciate anything they can, that you can give. Welcome to Dance for a Difference 2023 Benefiting Children's Hospital. We are so thankful for your support and hope you enjoy our show. 